Hudson's Bay. The saga of the great Hudson's Bay Fur Company. And of the brave men who traveled the untrekked wilderness from Labrador to California, from Minnesota to Alaska. Starring Barry Nelson as Jonathan Banner, Hudson's Bay Man. With George Tobias as Pierre Falcone. to the frontier with their hopes and their dreams and their fears and their legends. Fort Gannon, Northwest Country, 1823. Why are you always writing in that journal, Johnny? Oh, I don't know. You think people will read it someday? Maybe. Well, then that's why you're writing it. I suppose so. Well, Jordy well, uh, McClough. Oh, Banner. <laughs> you know Pierre? Who doesn't? Oh, Pierre Falcon is a very famous man. Why don't you write that in your journal, Johnny? What brings you to Fort Gannon? Uh, got some coffee, Johnson. I've been traveling for a couple of days. Huh. Well, sure, yeah. Uh, Jonathan, I... I don't know how I... You got trouble? I'm afraid so. Well, Jordy, if there's anything I can do, you know. No, I, I don't know. I... Uh... Want to tell me about it? I don't know how to begin. I... Well, why don't you have some coffee first? Pierre, how's that coffee coming along? Pierre Falcon is one great man. He made great coffee. You can hide this one down, too. Jonathan, how long have you known me? Oh, ever since I was an apprentice boy for Factor Kimbrough, and you were... Well, I guess about the first white man to go out into the Great Lakes country. I brought many fine furs into the company. I'm not you sure. have. But in the last few years, the catch has fallen off, hasn't it? Well, it's not up to what it's been in other years. Oh, you wondered about that? Well, I know you've got a lot of trappers up there, I suppose. No. There's plenty for all the trappers. It's not the competition, Jonathan. What's the trouble, then? The animals won't go in my traps. They see them. They walk all around. You can see the tracks. They won't go in. That's a pretty strange behavior for animals. Not unless they've been warned. Have some more coffee. No, I'm not tired. I know what I'm saying. The animals have been warned. I know who by. There's a witch running around loose. Who talks to the animals. She tells them where my traps are laid and how to avoid them. Oh, it's been happening for some time, but I didn't want to believe it. But I, I have to or I'll be ruined. I can't stand another season like last year's. Here, a silver shot. I, I don't understand. Uh... It takes a silver shot to kill a witch. You aim at the heart. Oh, yeah. Yes, I've, uh, I've heard about that. Then you'll come with me and do it? Well, if you know where the witch is, why didn't you? Uh... Why didn't I shoot her? Couldn't, Jonathan, I couldn't. You see? Which is my daughter. Hey, 
Have some more coffee. I came here for help, not for coffee. I'm sorry. You don't believe me about the witch. Jordy, have you ever heard of a place called Salem? No, I haven't. Uh, well, they, uh, they started thinking the way you're thinking, and pretty soon they were burning ordinary folks for being witches without the slightest shred of evidence. It is because somebody saw them looking the wrong way. Well, I've got evidence. I've seen her talking to the animals, plotting against me. You've seen her? So help me, I have. You come with me, Jonathan. I'll show you. Well, you, uh, you know, you live a long way from here, and we're pretty busy around here, Jody. You don't want to come with me, Jonathan? I'll go to the saloon. If I pay enough, I'll find somebody to put a silver shot into her. Jody. We'll go with you. If I prove to you that she talks to the animals and talks against me, then will you do it? She's your daughter, Jordy. She's not my daughter. She's a witch. I want to get some provisions from the trading post. We'll leave within the hour. Johnny, are you serious about going? We better start packing. Uh, I think I'd better stay here. What's the matter with you? Well, you see, I have this theory that there's no such thing as a witch. And you see, I can't go with you because if I do, I may find out that, uh, that my theory is wrong. You'd leave me go alone? It would be hard for me, but I think I can do it. My friend. Johnny, I tell you what I do. I go with you. If you could get me some of those silver shot, that way I will feel safe. All right, I'll try to get them for you. And when you're writing about this in your journal, uh, don't say Pierre Falcon was afraid. Even if he was? Oh, <laughs> I'm not really afraid, Johnny. I, I just don't know which, which is which. Quiet. What's the matter, Jordy? We're being followed. I didn't hear anybody, did you, Pierre? No, I haven't seen a thing. There. Where? That bush moved. It was the wind. You'll learn, Jonathan, you'll learn. That was the wind, wasn't it, Johnny? They can take any shape or form. I knew she'd follow us. She knows what I'm up to. Now look, Jordy, if you don't calm down and take it easy, you're not gonna get there. That's just what she wants. Let's move out. Johnny, quick, over there. It's a chipmunk. Any shape, any form. You'll see her soon, too, Jonathan. <laughs> ah, Johnny, there's no such thing as witches. But one should not take chances. <laughs> you know, my aunt, when she was a little girl in Lyon, France, she saw one. <laughs> they say that is where the mother of all the witches were born. <laughs> yeah. It was on a dark night when the moon came and then vanished. <laughs> on such nights are they supposed to fly. Johnny, look, the moon is gone. Better load your gun. The silver ball fired into the heart. But to be sure, the first one must be accurate, or the witch will find a defense for the second. I have enough for both of us, monsieur. I had an idea you would. Jonathan, it's here. She's in there. I can hear her. Listen. There's someone in there, Johnny. Yeah, that's something. She's there. She's in there. I can hear her. Listen. I'm ready. I have my silver shot in here. I must not miss. 
I have one chance. Mine's ready, too. I told her she's gonna try and stop us. I told her. Oh, no, take it easy. Don't anybody shoot until I tell you. You understand? Just don't take too long to make up your mind. It's coming closer. Not everybody keep quiet. Pierre? Ah, uh, don't fire. That's the only horse I got. But Johnny, if there's a witch in it... Ah, oh, Pierre. I'll kill her. Once and for all. Is he all right? Oh, yeah, just a little scared. You think there's a witch in him? What do you think? Ah, there is no witch in him. I tie him up. How do you like that? You think there's witches around here? Ah, huh? I don't think there's witches around here. They send us on a wild witch chase. <laughs> Come on. Is he all right? I'm sorry I had to do that. Jordy, I remember when you used to bring your furs in. Everybody at Fort Gannon used to come running. Why, there wasn't a man who had better furs or better quality than you had. And you'll do it again. As soon as I get rid of the witch. I remember your your daughter when she was first born. I, uh, what, what was her name? Uh, Cloris. You, you get, oh, Cloris, of course. That was a very pretty name. How did you, how'd you ever find a name like that? Mary read it in a book. Yeah. And I remember when you brought her in once on your yearly trip to Fort Gannon, and oh, I must say, she she was a pretty thing. She meant everything to me, Jonathan. When Mary died, she was all I cared for in the whole world. Then how can you want to do a thing like this now, Jordy? You don't understand, Jonathan. Clarice is no more. Oh, what's left looks like Clarice and talks like her, but it's not her. A witch has possessed her. You don't think I'd want to have my own daughter shot, do you? The sooner we get on with this, the better. Better get some sleep. Got a lot of traveling ahead of us. <laughs> here last night while we were sleeping. Who? 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 McLeod's daughter, the witch. Come, look. This better be good. You see? Cracks. But they only go out. I see. She must have come under the sky's throne. Now, these are horse tracks. Yes, but they only go out. I do not believe in black spirits, but if I did, here is proof of something. It sure is. Cloud is gone. Oh, then those tracks were from his horse. Oh, this is bad, Johnny, huh? I'm afraid so. Maybe he'll go to his daughter. Probably. Johnny, my silver shot is gone. Yeah, he's probably worked up the nerve to do the job himself now. Come on, let's saddle up. Is already here? Oh, I don't see his horse. 
Well, perhaps it would be better to wait until daylight, yes? Now, if you want to sleep on the ground at night and eat cold deer meat, that's up to you. But I'm going to go in there for hot bread and coffee. Besides, I want to be in there when McLeod gets here. But it's much safer during the day. Witches don't like daytime. Hello there. Johnny, it's her, the witch. Oh, it's just a little girl. Hello there. Can I help you? Are you Cloris McLeod? Yes, I am. Well, I'm Jonathan Banner of the Hudson's Bay Company. Oh, I've heard my father talk about you. Is he home? Not yet. I'm expecting him, though. Would you like to come in and wait? Thanks. Jenny, when you go inside, look around carefully. If you see a bone stick, you'll know. in a bramble or something. I can fix it for you. Oh, oh, thank you. Uh, uh, I like it that way. Well, you both look tired. Can I offer you some bread and cheese and some fresh milk? Oh, bread and cheese would be just fine, ma'am. Oh, you don't have to say ma'am to me. I'm not a lady. I mean, I'm not grown up yet. Uh, so we heard. Uh, Pierre means we've heard how much of a lady you are and taking care of the house and all. Oh, thank you, sir. Won't you sit down? <laughs> I think ven venison steak would go good with this bread and cheese, huh, Johnny? Oh, we couldn't ever eat deer meat. Oh, you couldn't? Oh, no. The deer are my friends. Oh, you hear that, Johnny? So the deer are your friends. Isn't that nice, Pierre? Isn't that nice? Oh, yes, it's very nice. If there's anything else I could get you, I... No, 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 this will be just fine. Now, isn't it time that a little lady like you be in bed? I thought I'd wait up in case my father came home tonight. You must like your father very much. I love him, Mr. Banner. He's wonderful. I'll tell you what. Pierre and I will wait up for him, and if he comes, well, we'll wake you up. Well, if you don't think me rude... A lady is never rude, just misunderstood. All right, then. I'll go. Good night, Cloris. Good night, Mr. Banner. And good night, Mr. Pierre. How did she know my name, Johnny? Probably heard McLeod talk about you. Why would he talk about me? I probably told her how fearless you were. What do you think of your witch now? Oh, you know I don't believe in them, Johnny. But they can change themselves into anything they want. Even to a sweet little girl. I wonder what's holding McLeod up. He should have been here before us. Maybe he got here and left. Oh, what about Cloris? Who said it was Cloris? Pierre. Somebody outside, Johnny. I think it's McLeod. And maybe it's... Yeah? I'm going out. Oh, don't, don't leave me alone with her. Come on with me. If I had my silver shot, I would not be afraid. Johnny, what are all these traps doing here? Cloud's horse. And where's the cloud? Must be around. Maybe he sneaked in through the back. Of course. She's sound asleep. But where's my cloud? I don't know. There's something strange going on around here. I told you, Johnny. Then I'm not taking any chances, now you? You sit by the door and I'll stay by the window. I have a better idea. Yes, sir. We go back to Fort Gunner. And leave the little girl alone? How do we know she's a little girl? Pierre, everything in this life is a gamble. Don't fall asleep. Who can sleep? Hail Mary, follow Christ. Oh, oh it's you, Johnny. She's gone. Well, how? Pierre Falcon was guarding the door. We better find her before McLeod does. There's 
no sign of anyone. Don't know where to look. Put your pieces down. It took me a little longer than I thought, but it's all right now. We found your horse last night. Yes, the poor beast became possessed. I wanted to end his misery, but he got away from me. But now there won't be any more possession, because I've got the silver shot, and I know what I have to do. Well, she's not in the cabin, Jordy. She's run away, thank God. Run away? She was gone when we awoke this morning. <laughs> you frightened me for a moment, Jonathan. Run away, did she? She always leaves the cabin early in the morning. That's when she does her plotting with the animals. That's when she tells them where I've laid my traps. Go down that path. I'm, I'm warning you, Jordy. There'll be nothing more for you to say, Jonathan. Go. <laughs> You see, Banner? Yes, I see. She talks to the deer like a little girl. Because that's what she is. She was plotting against me. You don't even know a child when you see one. Why, it's wonderful for children to be talking to animals. That's not a child. I'll show you. Aim for the heart, because if you miss, you don't get a second chance. Jordy. You can't stop me now, Jonathan. I'm not even going to try. Johnny, I'm not going to try because you're right. That isn't your daughter there. It's an evil witch. How could you tell? Well, it's easy to see. The daughter of Geordie McLeod wouldn't be talking with animals. She'd be trapping them. Oh, well, Jonathan, that's not true. But Chorus didn't like trapping. Well, killing bothered you. Well, I had to promise that I wouldn't trap any more. Oh, I tried, but I've been a trapper for 25 years, and a man's got to do what he can do. I can't do anything else. I gave it up for three months, and then one day I set my traps, and I came back with my pelts. And from that day, Clarice was gone. And that witch was there, plotting against me, and warning the animals where I left my traps. And I never got another pelt afterwards. Why didn't you? I just told you. That witch warned the animals. Where are your traps? They're all over. I've looked all around. I haven't been able to find them. Where are they? Johnny, last night I... You haven't laid a trap since the night you brought back those pelts and you saw the look on her face. You felt so guilty, you made yourself believe that it wasn't Chloris there. It wasn't a witch that stopped you trapping. It was a great deal of love you had for your daughter. Don't be ashamed of it. Johnny, how did you know all that? The same way you knew which which was which. I hope you like it. Uh, being a company clerk isn't the kind of life you've been used to. Well, if it'll make her happy, and I'll be happy too. You got a sweet young girl there. Pierce, it's all right from the beginning. Oh yes, sir. from the from the beginning. Yeah. 
When we get into town, I'll buy us some more silver shot. <laughs> 